Oh, it finally stopped raining. Well, it's snowing. This is the Chinese GPS I have in my car. One cool thing about it is, it runs on Windows CE. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to do something with it? Other than navigate, I mean. There might be a serial report somewhere on the PCB if I look close enough, I thought to myself. And guess what? There is, and I don't even have to look for it. So I wrote a little program for Windows CE and hooked the Arduino up to the serial port. The port was even the first one on the list, COM port 4, and the communication worked on first try. But now, as we have this, it gets a little bit more complicated. Back in the car now, and it's a few days later, clearly marked by the fact that there aren't any raindrops on the windshield. But here is the general idea or plan for this project. So, as you can see, the GPS device is mounted above the center console right here. It's out of my field of view. As you can see, that's about where my head is. And it's not in front of the windshield, so it's perfect right there. But, yeah, so the basic idea is to display a few things. And I'm going to show you. Ah, there we go. So it isn't the actual final program, obviously, but this is a markup of what we're trying to achieve right here. And we have the speed and a big number right here that is probably a position it will stay, maybe a little bit bigger. We have the RPM on that side. The RPM is going away because there isn't, re isn't really a point to display the RPM on the device since the RPM right here will be much more accurate since this has a little bit of a delay obviously due to the serial transmission and everything so no reason to display the RPM right there nobody wants to know if we do 4530 or 4550 RPM doesn't make a difference then um, I'm sorry it's in German right now but oil pressure right here um, I found out that this car doesn't have the oil pressure sensor at the moment um, it says right here on the dash moment wait a moment well you can't see it it says on the dash right here oh, I don't think that you can see it it says oil pressure but it's just uh, basically it's either there is oil pressure or there's non oil not oil pressure it doesn't measure the oil pressure yet it has a dial for it so yeah well so at some point I want to uh, install an oil pressure sensor also the degrees temperature of the water um, I don't know if I can use the water temperature sensor that comes with the car for that because I don't know if I can calibrate the value I get from that to display actual degrees but I will try and over here we have the voltage and right there we have the fuel level and that's another thing this car has a very unprecise fuel level gauge and I'm going to find out if it's a problem with the gauge cluster or if it's the sensor itself if it's the sensor itself there is no really a point to display the fuel right here from that sensor because it won't be any more accurate than the gauge right here in the gauge cluster so yeah and I can't really add another fuel level sensor I don't think and I don't want to mess with the gas tank anyways so that's the basic idea a few other things I want to add is uh, temperature sensors from inside temperature outside temperature maybe engine bay temperature I don't know oil temperature but I have to get an uh, oil temperature and oil pressure sensor at some point then for that. So yeah, that's the basic idea. The next step we have to do is remove, first of all this, remove the plastic piece right here, remove maybe the plastic piece right here, I don't know. Remove this plastic piece right here, there are a few screws over here and over here. And people say you have to remove no, you don't have to, but you should remove the steering wheel to get the instrument cluster out. But I don't want to remove the steering wheel, so I'm going to try to just put it all the way down and uh, remove the instrument cluster that way. So we'll see 
Um, I have no idea if I can remove this. I should be able to remove this, but I don't know where it's screwed onto or if it's just clipped into place or we're gonna find out. Anyways, that's the general plan right now.